you have fingers in many pies, as it were, <laughs> and you're very knowledgeable about afforestation and reforestation and environmentalism and animal protection. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us, just to start off with, because I think the big one is the Green Great Wall, could you tell us a little bit about what is going on, what is China doing in terms of afforestation here in China? Yeah, um, like I said, my, my, uh, my family have been around for uh, about a hundred years in China, mm-hmm. and uh, my uh, my grandparents and my parents uh, like to take pictures, and so I so we have the family album. Uh, we, we can compare <laughs> land form. They all love to hike and so on. So going to the hills and so on. I have just living in Beijing. I I have pictures of the Western Hills as they appeared in the early fifties. Mm. They were basically nude of trees. Mm. The, the Beijing's Western Hills. You know, there's the Xiangshan Park yeah, and the yeah. Badachu Park. And, Badachu and, was bare. No, no. What you looked out and saw was a little pocket of green. Oh, that's Badachu. A pocket of green here. No, that's Xiangshan Park. And in between was bare hillside. I'm, if you go I'm to those hills, yeah, it's now they're, they're green now. what uh, Badachu and Xiangshan are what about three, four kilometers apart. What year are you talking? about? I'm talking about the early fifties. Wow, totally bare. If you go there, actually, you can check for yourself the age of the trees on the intervening hillsides. Mm. There's basically nothing more than about fifty, sixty, seventy years. Old. Wow. I mean, you get the occasional some ancient pine tree, but mm-hmm. so they, they, this uh, happened. And how did it happen? It was well. Let me tell you about my, my parents are teachers in the Beijing Foreign Studies University, which was then called the Beijing Foreign Languages Institute. And around 1955, there th- this was a national campaign of afforestation. Mm. And uh, so, again, this linkage idea. So uh, there was a village in Mentogo district, Mm. what, about an hour's, well, driving time. It keeps changing and getting quicker. (laughs) Uh, Well, let's say about 50 miles Mm -hmm. southwest of of the Third Ring Road where my Mm. uh, campus was. They took the train to a village called Anjiazhuang, and stayed, I don't know, a week or two. Mm-hmm. And the idea was uh, faculty and students would help to green the hillsides around this village of, of uh, Andrang or mm-hmm. Andyadrang. By sowing. Yeah, seeds. yeah. So they, they, would, uh, they, they had saplings ready. I forget where they got the saplings. They, they, they grew little pine trees mm-hmm. from tiny mm-hmm. uh, things and uh, uh, spent the days... Uh, carrying water up, going up the hillside, digging little holes and, and, and putting the saplings in and greening. They stayed a week and in the evenings, it was fun. they said they would hold cultural evenings because students and teachers would put on little performances mm-hmm. for the villagers and singing and whatnot. And they had a, it, it was a great experience for the students. I, I loved it take my student, my WAB students on field trips and we've done similar things. So I've been back and okay, the survival rate was not 100%, mm-hmm. but it was good enough. Mm. It was pretty green. And I think that it must have been about, I, I tried to emulate my parents and that school. And I remember going to, you, you mentioned the, uh, the Great Wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to a, a, a township called Shicheng, which literally means stone wall. Because you know the, the different stretches of the wall. Some some are lined with bricks. Some are lined with Shicheng. Just means stone wall. We went to Shicheng Township, and uh, we took. Let me think. Was it the fifth graders or the sixth graders? They they were not very uh, big chaps and girls because the, the 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 saplings were pretty small. But we had to climb same thing mm. we climbed up the hillside just to the west side of the of the Shicheng township mm. actually we had a nice visit with the local primary school first mm. and we all got lunch in the canteen yes and uh, I, I made that funny expression because the faculty were so 
eager to entertain our faculty that they brought out some baijiu. Oh, goodness. Uh, before, uh, before you went to plant. No, no, this was on the occasion, on the day we went, and the teachers, of course, were oh, all wag teachers, you know, not supposed to drink hard liquor during a work day. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, well, anyway, the thing is, we, we did this. So this, so who's doing this? Now, I have flown over the Rockies in Canada mm -hmm. and, and so on, and I've seen agribusiness and uh, hillsides planted with trees and then and then an entire hillside bare because it has all been sawn down to mm. uh, well pulp or whatever mm. so now that model i think was was a business model mm -hmm. this is much more a sort of a social model mm. now obviously to, for sustainability you want a forestation to to be to be able to pay for itself, mm. but uh, but I think that the initial work, the uh, in the fifties, sixties, and seventies, the tremendous greening mm. of uh, large tracts of China uh, was done really labor of love, <laughs> mm. I think, with with government support.